Hi, and welcome to another episode of Commercial Property Roadshow with Helen Tarrant. Today, I'm going to talk about how, if you're a residential investor and you want to get into commercial, what are some of the concrete steps and things to consider when you're getting into your first commercial property. So, uh, a lot of people ask this question of me. So, how do I even get into commercial? How do I know that commercial is the right step for me? What should I be looking for? Now, I know in this current market, we've got the coronavirus going around. We've got um, economic meltdown and you're wondering whether commercial property is really really the right space for you to be in now if you're coming from a residential point of view you're coming from the mindset you're chasing growth so you've got a lot of growth happening in this market uh, or has been in the past but it doesn't mean that necessarily in the next few years there is going to be growth but and you're thinking, well, you're really cash flow starved. So what do I do? Is commercial the really the right way? And with all these things happening, is it the right way? Or should I be looking at um, just holding still and not doing anything? So I'd like to talk to you about really fortune favors the bold. And the reason I talk about this is that in any market, there's always people who've made money through any economic downturn. And there are particular type of businesses and there are businesses that what I would call evergreen. So businesses who are typically in a specialist type of trade, a business that's in a particular type of industry like ally health and medical, or even in education. Now education, you think about people turning up to classrooms, but also its ability to be able to deliver education from an online point of view, to be able to do online Online conferences to be able to do little groups as it in terms of virtual meetups all of that is also a um, specialist skill specialized type of tenant as well if your tenants are in technology for example if they're in parking technology or they're in AI technology or they they do a technology for a particular industry that's not going to be impacted because there's always going to be need for that now is the market going to turn a little bit yes for the next three or six months potentially you're going to have some tenants that's going to be strong struggling potentially you're going to have you're going to be in a situation where you feel like maybe this is not the right time to invest in commercial property but let me tell you if things have gone back and returned to levels of 2009 and 2010, what really, really, um, what you're looking for is this has never been a better time than right now to buy commercial property. Because the thing is, think about the yields coming back in metro areas. Like in the past, there is, um, and I'm looking at this bird because it keeps um, squawking above me, but in the past, uh, it's really hard in, in Sydney or Melbourne to get yields above 5.5% set but in a downturn you could be seeing sevens or seven and a halves in this market you know that might seem like a pipe dream but you can see some of the return the yields coming up and ultimately we know that the market the property market in terms of value and growth in the residential as well as the commercial in terms of back-end growth and capital growth in Sydney and Melbourne areas it will eventually pick up even if you're having a downturn right now so this is a really really great time where other people are fearful for you to move forward and be bold, to be bold out there and still invest, to be bold to be looking at the particular type of tenant that you could invest in. You see, the thing is, you may not invest in a restaurant tenant right now, but you might invest in a tenant that has medical technology. You might invest in a tenant that has online training, that has um, that does virtual conferences, that also has maybe uh, capitalized on overseas staff, like offshore and outsourced staff, because ultimately, as we're going in through this, you're gonna find a lot more people are gonna work remotely and be just as effective. So uh, companies who, are, who diversify, uh, I know that there's companies who are in logistics, but you might think, well, right now, that's not the great thing. But the thing is, in the future, with people working remotely and documents having to be sent and parcels be sent that will just pick itself right back up again after the temporary hold at the way we're seeing right now so really if you're residential thinking about going into commercial some of the things you need to think about firstly do you need cash flow in your portfolio if the answer is yes then commercial is the one and only route right now that can deliver the cash flow and it still consistently should deliver cash flow regardless of whether we're having a downturn or the next gfc or the coronavirus or anything else because there's particular type of tenants that you can be leasing your property to 
that is going to still be doing stellar business in this market as well so if you're chasing cash flow and you're residential buy and you want a commercial absolutely commercial if you're looking at the stock market or anything else and you're wanting an alternative way to put your money into then there's nothing better than commercial property right now because you're about to be picking up some really really great bargains so you've got to really position yourself well for that as well so the next thing is number two are you um, are you actually in your portfolio too um, top heavy so when I say top heavy are you two stocks heavy or are you two have you invested in businesses have you invested in um, residential and you don't actually have enough diversification ideally diversification is about having property in all the different states in Australia and maybe in some overseas as well as the different types of property so that could be your warehouse um, that could be your normal houses that could be your retail as well as office space because they all have their turn in the market where they are going to pick up growth and fantastic yields as well so you got to look at that as well so if you are one one asset heavy single asset heavy then you really need that diversification in your portfolio as well so that's the number two and finally number three why you should be thinking of changing from residential to commercial is because right now there's never actually better time to get a loan in commercial than there is uh, compared to residential now some of you are experiencing the headaches of getting a, a residential loan where you have to you know, tell them how much you're spending at the gym Netflix whether you're buying an extra cup of coffee um, are you actually taking a kids out for an extra meal a week all of that and it's taking a long long time you know sometimes a loan is dragging out to three or four months where it used to be a two weeks three weeks process now and sometimes you're being rejected at the last minute now if that's happening to you in residential in commercial that's totally the opposite you're still getting the benefit of the rate cuts so you're getting fantastic rates of three four or sometimes you know a low three percent in commercial properties and um, and even if you don't have serviceability you're getting your early fours in in some of the lease stock loans where they're only relying on the tenant um, to be able to be security for the servicing of the loan with all of these different products in commercial right now it's much much faster for you to get a commercial loan than it is for you to get a residential loan and just because you're tapped out in residential doesn't mean you can't continue to buy in commercial as well so that will allow you to have diversify but also allows you to be able to access a commercial property where it's going to give you cash flow compared to residential. So these are the three reasons that if you're considering changing from residential to commercial and you're looking at really why you should and whether that's there is a pathway for you, then I'm here to guide you through that. So check out my other videos. Go to HelenTarrant.com. Go and see my webinar. And look, if you want me to guide you through some of these processes or if you want me to help you pick the right commercial property for you go to helentarrant.com send me a, uh, a contact me at the contact me page or email helen at commercialpropertycashflow.com.au thank you and i'll see you at the next video bye for now